Guys, welcome back to some more Fire Force, man. We got episode two, The Heart of a Fire Soldier. My boy Shira already starting his goal of being a hero, bro. I'm liking it. It's it's cool, bro. It's cool. It, this is going to be a good journey. All right, let's get into episode two. Causes of death are many and varied. Old age, illness, suicide. But out of that long, morbid list, there's one end that people fear above all others. Death by fire. Hmm. So this is meant to be my castle. Hmm. So we got another member already. So what are the rookie fire soldier games? It's a competition where all the fire force rookies that join this year get to show off their abilities and it's coming up pretty soon. You're going to represent company eight alongside our other new recruit who we're expecting later today. Hang on. There's a new recruit coming. Indeed there is. Hey, uh, captain. Will there be any fire soldiers aside from us rookies at this contest? Well, yeah. Some of us will come and cheer you all on. Could be someone from another company who knows about that fire. Oh, the devil. Hoped I'd never see you again, you damn knight. What are you doing here? Thought I'd slay some hellspawn. Still with the big talking dumb pose, I'll shove that sword up. <laughs> so they they knew it, they know each other. like Shinra, then I'd be able to make fire on my own without having to use any starters. We're finally going to settle the score for good. Since you insist, I'll have to show you the difference in our power. Hang on, who are you? The realm knows me as Arthur Boyle, the Night King. Arthur. Might you be the princesses of this castle? Uh, who, me? Oh, you must be our new third generation fire soldier. It's nice to have you on board. Shinra, do you know this guy? Uh-huh. Met him at the academy. I told him that knights have jack on heroes, so midway through training, he tacked king onto that made-up title of <laughs> What a loser, right? <laughs> <laughs> he pretends he's the smooth, silent type, but the truth is he's just dumb. He's literally too idiotic to come up with words. And yet... And yet what? The girls still think he's cool for some reason. <sighs> yes, that... I've got way more drive, but girls just don't care. No one can resist a true knight. Wait. Knight King. Ladies love a king. Well, for the record, huh? I think that you're plenty cool, Shinra. Oh. Let's see that awkward smile of yours, devil. Say that again. What's going on? Lieutenant Hinoa, we just met the new recruit, Arthur. It turns out that he and Shinra went to the academy together. Got it. 
so you're Arthur Boyle? Sure am. Glad to work with you. Come on, man. You heard her call him lieutenant, right? We all stand as equals before the round table. He needn't bow, says the lowest ranked soldier in this crew. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what? The rookie games are coming up. I want to see what you've got in advance. That means seeing your powers in action. Now, go take them both on, Maki. Wait, do you mean me? Do you see anyone else on this rooftop who might go by your name? No, I do not. <laughs> you lead off, Shinra. Are we supposed to fight for real? You don't have to hold back. Are you certain that Maki can handle them? Third generations are extra powerful, aren't they? It won't be an issue for her. Maki started out in the military. She understands what it takes to destroy a man. Okay, I'm ready to begin when you are. shown that his third gen powers can only get him so far you won't beat me the way you did him Excalibur it's still lit looks like a plasma cutter Excalibur is stalwart you'll find it a lot tougher to extinguish than Shinra's fire but what kind of noble knight would I be if I injured an innocent princess? It looks like chivalry's dead after all. A true knight ought to kneel when he speaks to a princess. That's for your lack of respect towards a lieutenant. I see now. You're an ogre disguised as a princess. How dare you call me a hideous man-eating gorilla cyclops! Didn't say that! Now I'm doubting you can understand human speech, Ogress. It seems like he just keeps throwing more fuel on the fire. That's a third gen pyrokinetic for you. I'm not out of the running yet! Mm -hmm. Huh. You know when you're in combat, you start to look a little brutal. Not you too, Shinra. Mm -hmm. If I can't just snuff your flames out! <laughs> what the? Hey, what'd you do to my fire? <laughs> you got Excalibur too? You should change the name to X Sputterver. X Sputterver? <laughs> so we have a devil and a knight. Following the pattern Arthur and Shinra established, I guess I'd call Maki a witch. <laughs> now come forth! Bow, bow, bow! Bow, 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 bow! Bow. The two of you like to continue? We're out of options. If you're throwing in the towel, then that's that. Well, it's pretty clear that you want to surrender, so I'll concede. Gotta love a, gotta love some good ramen, man. Take the time to chew, will ya? <laughs> Refill, please. More extra firm noodles. Thank you for the food. Wow, that was some really tasty fare, Cap. Arthur. What you told me? No worries. I'm glad you liked it. The grub at that place is top notch. Captain Obi sure is laid back. Is there anything that can piss him off? Huh? 
Hmm, something wrong, Shinra? Uh, no, I'm doing swell, sir. Well, good for you. It isn't healthy to train right after a big meal, so there's no choice but to knock out some office work. Why is it unhealthy? He's even getting along with that idiot. This thing's pretty impressive. The Type 7 Firefighting Axe. Mm -hmm. It's a durable melee weapon that can also fire a sacred spike from the head at range. I've no need for a fire axe. Excalibur is the only weapon I wield. Right, your plasma cutter. By heating your flame into plasma and emitting it from that bladeless hilt of yours, you create a superheated, ultra-dense sword. Yeah, fair point. You pyrokinetics might not need tools like fire axes. Every time I deploy, I've got to equip over 30 kilos of gear. Then there's the issue of maintaining it all. It sure would be helpful if we could hurry up and hire an engineer. Might take some pressure off a lieutenant. For the record, I don't actually mind this work. <clears throat> Another inferno in Taito Ward, Eria District. Sir! One of the go let both of them do it. Arthur Shiro. By themselves. Was reported to be in a single family. Oh, he went hoodie. Odds are we'll be putting them to rest in close quarters. Shinra. You'll be pretty limited in how you can maneuver with your feet. Take the type seven. All of you keep your weapons hidden inside your coats. Don't let them be seen by civilians. Things are a little quiet, considering. Oh, she is a... Okay, I did not notice her hat. Her hat is a witch. Oh, God. Am I going to be mad? Apparently, her mother turned infernal as well, just two years ago. And now she's lost her dad, too. Tough break. Captain Obi, should I... No. Let's do this as gently as we can. I hear there's been a rash of strange incidents at recent fire scenes. So stay on your toes. Company 8, we're going in. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Shinra, Arthur, come here a sec. I thought I told you two to keep your weapons concealed. Why should we, though? There's no rule or regulation that says it's required. None of our teachers mentioned it either. Excalibur is more than a weapon to me. It's my pride, so why should I have to hide it? As fire soldiers, we all have our duty. We must fight the Infernals in order to put them to rest. All Infernals were once human. We can say we're putting them to rest, but in truth, we've killed them. Mm -hmm. Among the ranks of the fire soldiers, there are some who think of themselves as crusaders and relish every moment of combat with the Infernals. Thing is, that means ignoring the torment of the bereaved. The Infernal you put to rest in battle was probably someone's dad or wife. Never let the next of kin see your weapons. If you can't follow that rule, I don't want you in my company. Yes, sir. He's right. If I'm not there for those left behind, then I'm no one's hero. Mm Transform, but why? Could it have been the Infernal inside? Those flames are sneering at us. Infernals have no sense of self. It's hard to believe one of them could do this. Making entry now. Right. right. 
What did he? I don't want. I want to know what he do just now. Infernal located. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Why do these things have to happen? Captain, please let me be the one to put him to rest. Wait, let's think about this. He is an infernal, but he hasn't attacked anyone. Don't be a dumbass. The man's burning alive. It's hard to imagine the kind of pain he's going through. We need to put him out of his misery. Time 1706. Put the infernal to rest, Arthur. you to suffer any more pain than you already have sister the prayer please right <laughs> the flame is the soul's breath the black smoke is the soul's release ashes thou wert and art may thy soul return to the great flame of fire that painful yeah it was well hang on to that pain because the worst thing this job can do to you is make you numb to it all mm. is only blowing smoke. Time to see how well those clowns can take a joke. Captain, are you hurt? No, I'm all right. That didn't just happen on its own. You think we were attacked by a third party? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. If so, then they also trashed a fire scene that was still full of memories for the bereaved. And for that, they will pay. For now, let's just head back. I'm still with him. And next they're gonna come for me. father fought bravely to hold back the flame's fury, and he won that fight. I think both of your parents were protecting you from the flames. They both gave their all to make sure that you would be okay. Believe in them, in the love you felt. offer the bereaved much comfort and sometimes it feels just as tough as charging into a sea of flames but it's still important to try go to sleep devil there's nothing to be seen at least not by the likes of you 
Stop wasting your time. Sometimes closing your eyes can help you to sleep. What's that supposed to mean? If you don't know, then go to sleep, devil. Wait, is he? Why? Just showing some compassion is enough. <laughs> hey. What now? <laughs> Don't talk to me just because you can't sleep. I won't kill you if you fall asleep first. Even if you're a devil, just be grateful I'm a noble knight and go to sleep. Oi. King, I'm, no I'm a noble knight king. Almost like you're messing up on purpose. Why? <laughs> we need to bring spontaneous human combustion to an end. And quickly. Ugh. I like it, man. I just want to know what what pushes them to go in the funeral. I don't know. If, I don't know if they had explained that. I just I just know that in the black whatever that black dust was, buddy been doing. So we got some interesting stuff going on, and only two episodes in a fire force. But guys, make sure y'all give the video a big thumbs up, and I'll see y'all guys in the next one.